I'm Roseanne Hetty. This is my husband, Steve. Hello. Welcome to our historic home. Quite often people do ask us about the history of this house. Yes. And I enjoy telling them that it was originally owned by the Chippewa Indians. In 1825, a treaty was signed with the Indians. The property did go through several owners until 1929 when the Stewart family decided to build the home. Yes, uh, the property was purchased by Samuel Sidney Stewart who owned a carriage factory in the 20s and was very successful with that. And then with the evolution of the uh, engine, uh, they started putting motors in the carriages and he became even more successful. 1929, he purchased this property and built a home that took three years to build, completed the home and moved in in 1932. Do you remember when we first started going together? You lived on the west side of the town, I lived on the east side, and you would walk me home. And the park that the home is in was really the middle. So we would walk and look at the home. Yes, and one evening we walked, uh, I was walking Roseanne home. We stopped in a park under a tree and uh, actually got my first kiss from Roseanne. And, um, we looked up at the home and it was all lit up and there was noise coming. It looked like they were having a party that night. And I said to Roseanne, someday Roseanne, I'm going to purchase that house for you. I think it was about 1993 we actually got to visit the home for the first time. At that time it was owned by a prominent attorney and his family. We came to the house for a fundraiser and we heard that they might be interested in selling, but it was about a year later, I think, when we actually did hear they were selling for sure. We made the phone call, and the rest is history. We made the phone call, and um, the owner said, well, we're having someone come look at the house to purchase it tomorrow, but you're welcome to come that evening if you'd like. So we did that. We came over and looked at the home, and decided right then and there, we told uh, the owner, Mrs. Philpot, uh, we'll take it. It took about seven months before we did move in. The owners were having a home built, so it took a little while, but it was two nights before Halloween when we moved in. Kind of a scary Halloween. Oh, you know how it is when you uh, move into a, 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 a new home and there's all these new noises that you're not familiar with, and. Uh, on Halloween, and this big house, uh, seven bathrooms and five fireplaces and all kinds of bedrooms and building noises that we weren't used to. It was a little spooky, but uh, still enjoyed it. Had a lot of fun that night. We are doing everything we can to maintain the history of the home. Steve has added his decorative touches. The kitchen was the room that we really did the most work in. The kitchen and the small bathroom that is off the kitchen needed to be updated. Uh, it was built uh, for a, a staff uh, that uh, you know handled the house, a maid and a butler and that, uh, but the electrical, well, there were only two plugs in the whole kitchen. Of course, nowadays with all these kitchen appliances, we needed to redo that room. Me being a, a decorative arts painter, uh, I put my uh, trade to work in there and actually spent 200 hours looking up at the ceiling, uh, uh, finishing uh, the ceiling with a, a wallpaper pattern called Bradbury and Bradbury. Um, the woods in the rest of the house, a lot of the rooms don't, didn't need anything. They were originally built well, built for um, with the the best woods and the best materials that you could find. The craftsmen came from Europe and uh, some of them couldn't speak English, but they were the best craftsmen that, that you could get uh, that worked here. And uh, so the work that they did really didn't need to and doesn't need to, to this day, need to be touched. It's uh, all it looks fine. It's, it was maintained well and uh, the house is, is beautiful.
to, to this day. Steve, tell a little bit about the tile. The tile, Flint Florence Tile Company, is a tile company that was uh, started because AC Spark Plug, who produced spark plugs in Flint for the automobiles, had a downtime when the shift change, uh, the, the model year change would come, and uh, they would, they didn't want to turn their furnaces off because it cost too much to let them cool down and then heat them back up. So they decided to start making ceramic tiles in the AC spark plug factory. They brought in some of the best artists from around the world to design tiles and produce tiles and became so famous with that that uh, they actually became as busy as the spark plug factory and, and then seven years after they were started making tiles opened uh, their own plant in Rochester, New York. And uh, these tiles are all over the, the world. One story that uh, is kind of interesting is uh, it's, it's been told that the brighter the ceramic tiles in your home, the more well-to-do you are. And uh, of course, in this home, there's some really bright, nice, colorful tiles. <laughs>